The next two steps for setting up Pentair Automation Systems is to assign circuit names and if needed to designate functions to those circuits for special equipment like IntelliBright lights or a pool cleaner. The IntelliCenter essentially allows us to do both steps on the same screen. Starting from the home screen, tap the settings button. At the settings screen, press the down arrow button to advance system configuration and tap it. Now tap installation setup and since we're setting up circuit names and functions, tap circuits. Here we can choose between an auxiliary circuit which usually controls something physical, for instance a light or maybe a pump, and a feature circuit. Feature circuits are more like virtual circuits and can only control things like a speed on a variable speed pump, but nothing requiring a physical relay. For now let's tap aux circuits. This screen gives us a list of our auxiliary circuits. Pool and spa are both preset with names and functions, so let's tap the aux1 circuit. From this screen, as we talked about earlier, we can set both circuit name and circuit function. Let's start with the circuit name and tap aux1. On the select circuit name screen, we have an alphabetical ordered list of all the preloaded circuit names. Let's use the down arrow to scroll down to find pool light. If you press and hold the down arrow, the screen moves faster. Go ahead and select pool light and tap the check button to save and return to the aux1 screen. Now that the circuit name is set, let's tap the circuit function button to assign this circuit a special function. This screen gives us a list of special Pentair circuit functions. And we want to set this up as an IntelliBright light so select IntelliBright as a circuit function and tap the check button to save and return to the AUX1 screen. Back at the AUX1 screen, Visible in Features is a toggle that lets us show or not show a circuit under the Features section on the home screen. Since this circuit's function is a light, it will appear automatically in the light section so we can leave Visible in Features off. The egg timer is how long the circuit will stay on when manually activated. The default is 12 hours, but if we wanted this light to run a different duration when we manually activated it, we could change it here. And then we have freeze protection on or off here as well. Since this is a light, we'll leave its freeze set to off. Then we'll tap the back arrow to get back to the circuit screen. IntelliCenter also makes it easy to set up a circuit with a custom name instead of choosing from the pre-populated list. Let's tap AUX2 and set up a cleaner circuit. Tap the AUX2 circuit name, and then on the Select Circuit Name screen, we'll tap the keyboard on the right side of the screen. This is where we create custom names. Use the Delete key to erase the current name, and then all we do is use the keypad to create the custom name for this circuit. Let's name it Fred. Press the Check button, and it takes us back to the circuit screen where we can see AUX2 is now named Fred. Let's tap the AUX2 circuit to finish setting it up. Tap the circuit function button, and let's set this circuit to master cleaner so the system knows the filter pump should be on when this circuit is on, and to give us a five minute priming time before turning on a cleaner booster pump. Back at the AUX2 screen, Let's also turn Visible and Features to on so we can access this circuit through the Features section on the home screen. We could also set the egg timer here. For instance, if it takes about three hours to clean the pool, when we manually turn this circuit on, it would run for three hours and then shut off. If we have a booster pump for our cleaner, we may also want to set freeze protection to on for this circuit to protect the pump and plumbing. And that's all there is to setting up circuit names and functions for the IntelliCenter. Now we can tap the back arrow or press and hold it for about one second to return to the home screen.